Well, the Hill County Transit District is looking for the public to share their thoughts on expanding services in the busiest Central Texas cities. In the last decade, the system has experienced significant growth and their services spread over 9,000 miles. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander will be at the first public meeting in Belton and has more on what sort of feedback the company is hoping for. The Hill County Transit District operates the hop and it's been around since the 1960s, serving as a volunteer transit service. But since the recent growth here in Central Texas, they're asking for the public's opinion on what they can do to expand. Right now, it only costs a dollar to use the hop and it's available in Colleen, Temple, Harker Heights, Coppers Cove and Belton. In tonight's meeting, the HOPS Regional Development Manager Daryl Burtner wants to get the public's feedback about having to increase fare for this service and expanding their accessibility even further. Burtner said they've already done a test trial of their new system at Fort Cavazos and it's been a huge success so far. As things grow, I think it, it will be a better experience for our customers and our passengers. Uh, I think it'll be more efficient. There will be less wait time and less travel time for them. And uh, I think the added cost will be well worth it um, to uh, provide a better service, public transportation service for the public here. Tonight at 10, we'll hear from people who use the HOP Transit system and hear if they believe a service change is needed. In Belton, Adriana Alexander, 6 News. And again, that's Hill Country, not Hill County.